All right, let's create our first uh, networking simulation. So for uh, creating a connection between two computers, we just need first we need two computers, right? So go to the end devices and uh, from here I click on the computer for adding the computer just click on it and then your mouse will change when you go to the logical tab click anywhere and the computer will be created if you want to create multiple computers I believe you just uh, hold control uh, on your keyboard and you can create as many computers as you want all right so I don't need these many computers, I just need two. So I will delete these. Okay. So let's select the select tool and here we have two computers over here. Okay. Now let's connect them with a cable. So the cable that we need to connect two computers are the copper crossover cable. We click on it, fast Ethernet, and on the fast Ethernet. Okay, the the two uh, dots here are green. So when it is green, it means uh, the connection is stable. And uh, let me remove the cable so I show you the auto connect. There is a uh, lightning here, as you can see. It says automatically choose connection type. So if we click on it. It will automatically choose the uh, proper cable for our connection here so we are using the copper to uh, connect two computers together so there might be uh, another cable for another situation like for example connecting a switch to another switch so uh, now uh, in order to have a trend to have a connection between these two we added the cable now we, we want to transmit data through that cable in order to do that we need an IP address for each computer so we can send the data th uh, to an address because the IP address uh, determines the address of the computer right now they don't have an IP address and they cannot find each other so let's give them an IP address if I click on the computer you can see the, this window is coming up and uh, this window is a very important window because we're gonna uh, configure our things into the computer. The setting of the computer is here. So in the first uh, tab, which is physical, we have the uh, physical part of the computer. For example, I can turn it off or turn it on just by clicking on the turn off button. You can see the uh, triangles goes red. So if I turn it on again, it will be turned on again and uh, and uh, in this window we can uh, we can add modules M what are modules let's say for example we want to connect this computer to a wireless network so we need to add the wireless module for the computer uh, or uh, other modules like the headset like microphone uh, for adding modules just click on the, uh, uh, the image of the uh, module bottom right corner uh, click on it hold it and I, I can drop it on the computer on the specific pin that has been created for the microphone so the headphone is the same I cannot leave it anywhere in here just at the right place of the headset so the headset and the microphone can be added as easily as that but if we want to uh, for example uh, attach a wireless module we need to turn off the computer so it won't let us to add it just like drag and drop it the computer need to be turned off and that's that and uh, let's remove the headset and microphone so in order to set an IP for the computer we have two ways one of them is to in the config window in a config window we have the fast Ethernet if we click on it here we have the IP configuration and uh, there is a DHCP and a static IP that we can set the static is using by by hand and uh, we're gonna give them uh, 
and a, and a static IP that only we know. The DHCP will uh, give them an IP automatically from a DHCP server. So we are we have a particular video for that, and uh, uh, in the upcoming tutorials we are going to create a DHCP server and uh, get, give IP to a bunch of computers automatically, but not in this video. So in this video I'm gonna put an IP config uh, this static type. Uh, the second way to set an IP address is by going to desktop. Desktop is a more visual feeling, uh, give you a visual feeling like we have uh, web browsers, we have a PC wireless. If I click on it, well, it will tells me that I don't have the wireless module right now. We, uh, but we are going to work on it later. So we have command prompt and so many things that we are going to work with. Uh, but uh, also we have the IP configuration here so if I click on it here is the IP configuration part that we have access to all so the IP address that I'm gonna set I will set 192 168 dot 1 let's say 10 okay if I press enter the subnet mask will be set automatically so if you have a <coughs> if you have a particular subnet mask you will set it here as well so that's it let's set the, an IP address for this computer as well IP configuration 192 168 111 this time okay press enter the subnet mask will be set automatically now we want to test the connection so the f easiest way is by clicking on the computer go to command prompt and get a ping from the other computer IP address like ping 192.168.1 uh, this computer was 10 and the other one was 11 so if I click enter you can see it's giving me the ping so the connection is stable and we can transmit data from these two computers. And that's the easiest way to test the connection. The other way is by sending a packet. So I told you in the previous video that we are going to see how packets work. So the packets, uh, just click on this mail icon and click on the first co computer and click on the second computer. And uh, the first computer is where you want to send the packet or uh, the computer that this is going to send the packet the second computer is where the packet is headed to so in order to test this uh, connection test this packet which we call scenario here we have multiple scenarios in this window that I told you in the previous video we can have multiple scenarios multiple uh, packets being sent so right now we have one packet sending from PC0 to PC4 and uh, for testing it we need to go to the simulation tab over here and press on this play icon. If we play it you can see the packet will be sent to the PC4 and uh, it will go back to the PC0 because it's, it's using a TCP protocol and uh, the TCP protocol works uh, this way that when uh, the computer send the packet it needs to receive a packet that it says that the second computer says that yes I received your message so just like that and uh, the packet send it successfully and uh, we know that the connection is stable and we can communicate so let's delete this scenario just like that and here we have a connection between two computers I will save this project and as also for all of the other videos that are coming I will save every project you can uh, download them from the uh, description so if you have homework if you have wanna study them you can find them in the projects uh, in the link in the description so thank you for watching 
don't forget to like and subscribe because it will help me and the channel to grow faster and will especially help me a lot. Thank you. Bye bye.